name is John Gibbons, I'm a sports osteopath and today we're going to be using kinesiology taping, using functional tape to stabilise a rotator cuff strain. The first application of the tape using a pre-cut eye strip and we've changed it into a Y is going to be used to stabilise the deltoid muscle and then the second strip is going to be used to stabilise again a Y strip it's going to be used to stabilise the supraspinatus. So first bit of tape so if we split the tape towards its end, where we have no stretch on the ends, and where the deltoid comes down to the insertion of the tuberosity, we're going to apply the first piece of tape onto the tuberosity with no stretch. Then what we need to do is, is to use one of these lugs, or legs if you want to call it, and then feed off. We'll do one at a time, like so. Make sure that's sticking on there. What we're going to do first of all is to use the shoulder and we're going to lengthen the posterior deltoid. So what I'd like to do is bring your arm forward and then slowly turn your arm in. So we've got some stretch onto the posterior aspect of the deltoid and then this first leg is going to come around. So we've got no stretch onto the tape because the tissue is already on stretch. So we're literally going to feed that around and then curl that around, so no stretch on the ends. So that's working on the posterior aspect and then to do the anterior aspect we're going to again take off part of our tape, so just feed that back and then we're going to place the anterior fibres on stretch so we're going to bring the arm back. That's if the patient is able to with a rotator cuff, so we're in our position there. So we are going to, with no stretch, mould that around and then literally, if I just feed this under, so we can mould that around and now this is just going to tuck under the top, like so, and relax the arm down there. So that's applying the first bit which would be used for generalised taping for the shoulder. The second piece you're going to use Again, a standard eye strip that's been split to look like a Y. And we've got the supraspinatus. Think about the AC joint, the chromium process. So the supra will insert onto the greater tubercle. We need to place that under stretch if you're able to, and onto the lower back. So I'll put the supraspinatus onto the stretch. Again, split the tape and apply that roughly where the supraspinatus will insert. Peel back one of the legs no stretch on the end. And then what we're going to do this time, I'm going to get you just to bring your shoulder back a little bit, that's it. So we've got 100% stretch, okay, 100%, ease off a little bit, 80%, find the spine of the scapula and literally just slightly above it where the supra will come round. I'm actually just going to feed this under, like so, so we'll just literally just feed round. That's the first piece. And then the second So bring it back to the end, remember there's no stretch on the ends. Okay, 80% stretch, spine of the scapula, just go slightly below that, feed that around and again, as I come around, I'm just going to just take this bit off here. A little bit awkward at the top, but we can just manage more nicely. And we can just feed that around, like so. Using back of the tape or fingertips, we can just warm up the tape and relax your arm. Okay, so we've got a generalised piece of tape for the shoulder and then we've got a second application that will uh, stabilise the supraspinatus. If you want to learn about kinesiology taping, then look on johngibbonsbodymaster.co.uk. Thank you.